You guys ready to build a smoke machine? Before we get going guys, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. <laughs> How's it going guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a homemade DIY smoke machine for under 10 bucks. You can fix your car if you have emissions leaks or other problems like that where your check engine lights coming on this thing's a lifesaver it's going to save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars in car repairs let's check it out so when i say you can build a smoke machine for under 10 bucks i'm assuming you have access to an air compressor this is a six gallon porta cable air compressor with a regulator which is super important because you're going to want to greatly reduce the air pressure to your smoke machine and to your car or else you're going to blow the thing apart which is not good and create more problems for yourself uh, the assumption is you have an air compressor uh, if not this is not going to be under 10 bucks to create a smoke machine for you because you're going to have to buy an air compressor or gain access to one. I think I paid something like 150 bucks for this air compressor 10 years ago or something. I've had it for a very long time. Pretty cheap, but just a note there that this is not included in the $10 price. All right, let's take a look at the other components you need. This is your actual smoke machine here, okay? So, number one you need a paint can i think this thing cost me like a dollar at home depot if you're super cheap you can use a paint can you already have just an empty plain old paint can and you also want to get the lid which we'll get to in a second now the second thing you want to do is you want to go and buy some cheap smelly smoky incense you can see i got the old black cherry there which actually doesn't smell bad when i burn these things so you need cheap incense I think these incense cost me like, I think it was like two packs for a dollar or something like that. And I think there's like, what, 40 sticks in there. So, a lot of smoke. Uh, screwdriver, just to pop the lid on and off of this thing. Lighter, to light the stinky incense. So you don't really need one of these things, say, but just something to put the incense in. This is just a magnetic bowl. I'm sure you guys have seen those before. So I just kind of sit the incense in there and then place it in there. We'll show you how it works in a second. And then I light the incense and we're off and running. And then finally, back to the lid. Want to make sure you get a nice flat lid that seals tightly. And you'll notice a couple of things here. I have two air fittings on the top of the lid. So basically what I did was I just simply drilled a hole here, drilled a hole there, put the air fitting through, and I just simply siliconed around it to hold it in. You can see that. Same thing with this one and we'll show you why you have two of them and how that whole thing works and then in my case this is 3 8 inch tubing and i got i think it's like six feet or eight feet of it or something like that and so let's take a look we'll put the machine together and i'll show you how this thing works so number one i'm going to take my little bowl here again it doesn't have to be a magnetic bowl but i'm going to essentially take my smelly incense i'm going to break them into little kind of pieces here so they fit in the bowl just kind of snap them in half and the only reason I'm doing that is so they fit in the bowl they're not hanging all over the place and we're good there so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the incense out and I'm gonna light it get it lit pretty well here and then I'm gonna stick it in the bowl once it starts smoking a little bit and I'm gonna try to catch the whole bowl on fire if you will get the whole bowl smoking The idea here is, is that you want this thing to be as smoky as possible. So I'm going to kind of let this burn. Hopefully not me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this burning bowl into the paint can. I'm gonna blow it out a little bit. You can see that it's got some real nice smoke there, right? And that's exactly what you want. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm just gonna tap the lid down lightly to seal it. And now here's where the magic happens, guys. So if you haven't done this yet, this is an important step. I'm gonna back this regulator way down.
And again, the reason for that is you don't want to blow up any of your components in your car and make your situation worse. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hook the hose up to my smoke machine and we're going to produce some smoke. All right, guys. So here it is. Get my hose from my air compressor right here. My smoke machine. You can see smoke kind of coming out of that fitting right there. I'm going to put my air hose on there. And remember, I have my regulator backed all the way off so I don't blow this thing up. What you guys can see is not a whole lot, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly increase because I don't hear or feel any airflow coming out of this thing. I'm going to start to force a little air through it. I'm just turning the regulator up a little bit. Here we go. Look at that. Boom. Back it down a little bit. That's exactly what you want. Um, that smoke or even thicker. Now what you can do is you have all kinds of smoke. You separate your emissions components on your vehicle. Uh, for example, I've done like uh, my charcoal canister, my uh, canister closed valves, things like that. I'll pull the hose off. I'll put this hose up against the hose on my car and I'll just simply do like Gorilla Tape or duct tape around it to seal it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you have your smoke machine. I've found all kinds of issues with my car over the years. My charcoal canister, big crack in it. Again, canister closed valves a couple of times. It's, it's been an invaluable tool and look at that smoke. Look at that, check that out. Exactly what you need, under 10 bucks, provided you have a compressor. Thanks for watching.